Hey guys, my name is Priscilla Elias and today I'm going to make a review of an awesome release from Freewell, the world's first versatile magnetic variable ND filter. When I heard about this release, I was very excited because I never found switching ND filters very practical and if you want to make good videos, especially outdoor videos during the day, using them is inevitable. Well, guess what? Freewell has made it much more practical and what's even better, pretty affordable too. Intro! If you're a videographer or if you just love making good videos for fun, you know how important variable ND filters are. They allow you to keep your shutter speed low for smoother and more cinematic shots even in very bright environments. Or maybe you want to kill glow or reflections, maybe you want a different mood. Filters will help you to do that. If you're a photographer, you might want to keep your shutter speed low, for instance, if you want to create motion blur during a very bright day or get rid of the glow from a shiny surface, for example. In order to do that, you will need to invest in some filters. I myself bought a pack with two ND filters from Freewell last year. I had the 2-5 and the 6-9 stop pack and I paid around $220 for it. And if you've already done some research on ND filters, you probably know Freewell's filters are some of the best budget options that are still very good in the market. But what if you could have the equivalent of $800 in filters all in one unique $300 filter? And not only that, but if they actually were very good quality filters and if you could also mix and match for different combinations in a very practical and easy way. That's what Freewell has just released. The world's first versatile magnetic VND comes in a pack with four different filters that actually offer seven different features. Not only will have all these features about which we will go through in just a minute, but more than that, the best part that really got me is how practical and fast it is to switch from one to another. You will install the thread of the filters in your lens and then you can simply choose the filter or the combinations of filters you want to use by placing them over the thread. You make sure they're installed correctly by using the AA mark on the filter with this mark right here on the thread. Find the hard stop and Voila! The filters are magnetic and for that reason it's super easy and fast to get them installed and or switched. In the box you will find the VND 2-5, usually used for standard days that are not extremely bright but that are still bright enough to demand a darker filter in case you want to shoot in 24 frames per second for example. The CPL, excellent to eliminate glare from shiny objects or surfaces. the VND 6-9 for very bright days, the ND32 CPL when you need to eliminate glare in a very bright environment, the VND 1-8 mist usually used as a base filter for a clinical look and the VND X mist base also used as a base filter with a vintage cinematic touch to it. This is what you will find in the box, but you can use your filters in many different combinations. For example, you can use your vintage base with the VND 2-5, or you can easily switch to the VND 6-9, or maybe you only want to use the CPL, then you can take your base off and install the CPL. Or maybe it's too bright and you want a darker CPL, so you can switch to the ND32 CPL. Now, if you want to use your filter, which is a 2-5 to five and also a CPL, as a CPL filter, you need to have the CPL size of it facing out. If you want to use it as a 2-5 to five VND, you need to have the 2-5 to five facing out. Therefore, a disadvantage is that you cannot use a 2-5 to five with the CPL filter, for example, or even a 6-9 to nine with a CPL, and that happens because the magnet is placed on the opposite side of the filter, so they repel each other. 
So if I want a darker CPL, I need to go for the ND32 CPL or if I want something in the middle, I can use the base filter plus the CPL. All of this is to show you that there are some limitations to the combinations, but that still you can get so much from the combinations you can make. I've been testing out these filters for about two weeks now and so far I didn't miss a thing. Before I go on, if this video helps you, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel. You will really help me back and I'd really appreciate it. Something I also loved about this filter is the hard case that comes with it. For the previous free wall filters I had, I had these metal cases that were so hard to open. Every time I needed to grab a filter, it took me a while to open the case, especially because if you're not careful when opening it, you might just put too much pressure on it. And by the time you get to open it, the filter might just fall off. So these cases were not practical. And if I wanted to be fast with my filters, I'd need to invest in a different case for them. It's the total opposite with this new kit. This hard case is amazing. It's made of leather and its interior has the amount of compartments necessary to store each one of the filters that come into this kit separately and safely. It might be a little bit big for some people, but really for the size of my backpack, it's just perfect. It's beautiful, functional and practical. I absolutely love it. Also, if you want to keep one or two of your filters attached to your lens, you can protect it with this stylish cap that also comes into this kit. You can choose the thread size of your filters from 58mm to 95mm depending on your use. My biggest lenses are the 24-70 and the 16-35 which are 82mm wide and for that reason I got an 82mm thread size. Unless you can buy different kits in different thread size, which is not affordable for most of us and maybe not even very practical to carry around, I suggest you choose the thread according to the biggest lens you have. Or if you only have a 50mm lens, for example, but you plan on buying a 16-35 to anytime soon, then I still suggest you consider having a thread that fits the biggest lens you plan to have. And the reason for that is because if you want to use this filter in smaller lenses, you can just use step-up rings to make them fit any of your lenses. Since your filter is bigger, you shouldn't have any big issues with the edges of your image. Whereas if you use a small filter with bigger lenses, you might end up having heavy vignetting and in the worst scenario, you might end up having to crop your image to fix the edges that might end up being too dark. Here's an image I made with the 82mm thread and the third-party step-up rings I have along with my 85mm lens, which is 58mm wide, the smallest lens I have. No vignetting and no issues at all. It works perfectly fine with it. Also good to mention that you do not have to buy Freewell step-up rings in case you need them. You can choose any third-party brand if you want to. As you've seen, they work just fine with any of them. Now let's go to the best part of this video, the price of this kit. The first lot of 1,000 sets is being sold for $300. The second lot of 2,000 sets will be sold for $350 and thereafter it should get to a final price of $400. I know it's not a small amount of money, but as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, it should cost you around $800 to have a similar kit if you buy them separately. It's also important to mention that besides the reasonable price, Freewell hasn't sacrificed their quality. In terms of optical glass, each of the filters in this kit is 18 layers multi-coated with waterproof, dustproof, oilproof and scratch resistance. I have to tell you, I already dropped mine twice on a sandy floor with very small rocks, you know, and so far so good, they still look like new. I'm pretty impressed by the quality, the versatility and the ease of use of these filters and I'm really happy to have these filters in hand. So how does this sound to you? Does this kit seem to make any sense to you? Or if by the time you watch this video you try them already, how did you like it? Please let me know your opinion in the comments below, guys. I'd love to know your thoughts about it. I hope this video helps you to make a decision on which filter to get. I hope you like it and thanks so much for watching me. I will see you in the next video. Ciao!